what an extraordinary day. The whole country gripped by football fever. On Taoiseach, Charles Haughey has given the nation a half day off work. In this, the first year that Ireland has qualified for a World Cup, we've come through three tough games in our group and progressed to the knockout stages. The dream lives on. Today we play Romania in the biggest soccer match, in fact, the biggest sporting event the country has ever seen. Those lucky enough to get tickets are already in general. At home, businesses are closing early, the streets deserted, but the pubs are full. One thing is certain, everyone is watching the match. Sure, what else would you be doing? <sighs> Why am I doing this? Because you were my birthing partner. Provide the calm environment for the birth. Starting. Morning. <laughs> Look, we'll do the breeding after the game, yeah? Watch the match? Yeah? Yeah? I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a baby. <laughs> She's not due for another two weeks, though. <laughs> the most important thing is to breathe and stay calm. <sighs> These things take forever. I say we watch the match and we can drive to the hospital. These things. No, oh, you're in labor. They, they take like 14 hours. And like 13 hours of that is just waiting around. Maybe we should go to the hospital now. Maybe if it was the second half. We'll hear the Irish national anthem. Watch Sonny start it. <laughs> A towel? <laughs> Let me drive. Let me drive. Sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. Jesus. Ah, oh, lads. What a dreadful day for us. It's like a ghost town out there. They're all watching the match. We could hardly get anyone into work today. Only the really shit ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to laugh. <laughs> Look at lads, it's just a waiting game now. You're all right, love, aren't you? Yeah, yeah good girl. <laughs> Look, I'm going to head down to the match, right? If you need me beforehand, just give me a buzz in the tinkler. <laughs> buzz in the tinkler. Okay. Go on. What? Well. Go check the score. Oh. Don't give me that nonsense. Go check the score. <laughs> Come back and let me know. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I know. Very 
individual qualities. Uh, the question about us is whether we go and play the game uh, with the right balance. Are you not watching the match? I was, yeah. Jump down off that chair there. Paul, Sinead, jump up there now till we get this sorted. Come on, come on, brustigy, brustigy. Now, where are we? It's that way. Are you sure? Yeah. No, that way is town. Couldn't be that way, no. Oh, wait. I think this is the area of the field here. Not just power, uh, but a yeah, combination. Nearly, nearly. Now, we have it. We gave them credit for before we started the game. It's a mixture of what we are and what we can be. Football and... The, but we Manny have to Cook keep going. Nah. Well. The resilience has been good. They took off... They, they, at the start of the game, they were taking a little bit of a hiding. And uh, they hung on well. And as the half wore on... They Don't you two move an iota. Uh, I have slight reservations about Mick McCarthy. I must say, I think he's been caught out for... Yeah. Nancy Roach. Janet Kinsler. Janet. That's a queer name now. I know, yeah. Gannett, this is Paul and Sinead. No interest in the football, Sinead, no? Football's boring. What's that? It's birds in flight. It's fully immersive. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I know. You allowed to smoke in here, are you? Of course we are. It's 1990. Jeez, you got it working. In or out? Man, man, brustigy, brustigy. He scored. Cool. No, nil off. Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank you. Is he? Run off my feet. And he scored, lads. Trust me, trust me. Taffin to the Burton Road, please. Nurse Taffin. Oh, bollocks. I'll warn you every minute, lads. I'll see you later. Sorry. Do you think that's Roisin? <laughs> no, you've aged as yet. Don't be worrying. <laughs> you young lads today think a lot of yourself, don't you? Why Tony was never at the birth of any of our children and they all turned out fine. The youngest, Paula, is a bit of a pain in the hole. Oh. Very pretty, but a pain in the hole. Doves at her wedding, that sort of thing. Did Tony torment it, God rest him. Apparently, doves are very stupid creatures. Useless. He heard of a fellow who had albino pigeons. Yeah. Oh. In our... I'll buy no pigeons. Oh, Neil Lord, what does that mean now? Extra time now. If you're not scored in, it'll be penalties. Oh, the stress. I think I'm having a stroke. Let me go and check on herself. Kinsler, I was just coming to find you. There's been a complication with the neighbour. Is Roisin all right? Roisin is fine. It's the baby we're a little bit more worried about. The best thing you can do for Roisin right now is just to wait here, and as soon as we have any news, I promise I'll send somebody down to you.
horse bit is. It's a part of me that was relieved, you know? She said we might lose the baby. Back to our lives. them all. Paula was looking gorgeous for her big day. And Tony was over the moon. I threw me fur coat in the back of the car, but sure didn't I throw it on the box with the albino pigeons? Suffocated a lot of them. Tony slipped out at the kiss the bride bit. There he was, proud as punch, with a box full of dead albino pigeons. Out they came, the bride and groom, delighted with themselves. He flings open the box. Nothing. Then he tosses the box in the air to get the pigeons out. Up they went. And down they came. It was a massacre. Dead albino pigeons scattered all over the grounds of the church. Paula was devastated. And poor Tony standing there, redder than a beetroot riding a Ratsbury. Everyone said the marriage was cursed. It's gone to penalties! Oh! Ah, yes. This is a remarkable penalty competition. 100% success rate. And now Ionit Lupescu is sent forward for Romania. Romania's fourth penalty. This midfield player to attempt to keep their sequence going. Uh. Bonner furious with himself. Again, he guessed correctly. Yeah. But his dive took him below the trajectory of the penalty kick. This really puts pressure on the final two penalty takers for Ireland. Is it cursed? The marriage? <laughs> of course not. They're up there now having their third child. And I'm sure poor Tony, God rest him, is up there somewhere laughing his head off about the whole thing. Carino against this fella. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can breathe again. And it's now Romania's second substitute, Daniel Timofte, against Bonner. Come on, Packy Bonner, you big rider. If he should miss this, and Ireland's last penalty taker should score, then the match of the progress are Paki. Ireland. Come on, Packy. Timofte on, Paki. against Bonner. But who's stepping up to assume the task? David O'Leary of Arsenal. In his 52nd international appearance, David O'Leary is entrusted with the responsibility of taking the penalty that could send Ireland into the quarterfinals of the World Cup. This kick can decide it all.
responsibility of taking the penalty that could send Ireland into the quarterfinals of the World Cup. This kick can decide it all. The nation holds its breath. Yes! You thought of a name? David. Hey, David O'Leary. Does he know it's a girl? Thank you. 